What next topic is going to be? What you want to talk about next? Um, didn't you were talking about, yeah, the new book from right. Rakim, Sweat the Technique. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's clap so, like that up. Yes, sir. God writing books now. Yeah, man. You know what I'm so, the God MC Rakim has a new book out. Uh, co- well, I don't know if it's out or coming out, but it's called Sweat the Technique, where he really talks about his creative process. So I'm excited about that, man, because, I mean, he really is going to tell you how, you know, what influences him and what makes how he writes his rhymes, how he breaks down the bars. I've seen him touch on that lightly, but I'm excited to see what he talks about in the book because um, the dude is just off the charts with the with the mentality, man. So, you know what I mean? You can't really doubt his genius. You know, what do you think? There was an interview I seen with him, like him and Ice T. I think Ice this is when Ice T was doing like the art of rap. Mm-hmm. And um which y'all should check that documentary out. That is that is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, man. Um, that was dope. Yeah, so but he was talking about Rock Hill was talking about like his process. Mm-hmm. And he was like, Yeah, so I do this and then I write the words down and then pretty much like I the way I write it nothing else could fit in there but those words mm, mm. and like and that's pretty much how I do it and, and Ice-T was like man you just explain it niggas still can't do it <laughs> I was like god you know, I mean, it's crazy man it's really crazy I don't even know how you know I mean but the way he explained it you could tell that he's very visual when he sees it he looks at it in his head before it's on the paper you can tell he's kind of like almost like composing a musical symphony or something you know what i mean so it's going to be interesting to read about his um process so y'all should check that out you know anybody who just respects hip-hop as a culture and you know you're not just here to listen to some some lit music you know what i mean for a minute if you really respect the culture you'll want to read this book you know what i mean so definitely please check that out um it's called sweat the technique so yeah i'm excited about that i don't know if it's out but we're gonna find out for y'all all right. Uh, let's talk about the episode of uh, the Wu Tang and America Saga. Yeah, um, man. I saw the latest episode, so I don't want to touch on that just yet. Yeah, we might have to do that, like you know, may talk about it uh, another time, just a little bit. Yeah, um, yeah. It, it's 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 got a lot going on, so we ain't gonna tell you that too much, but it really gives you blow by blow, you know, how their lives were from from time to time until they got famous and everything and how they was in the you know drug selling and you know what got them there what got them out all that so it's really good you know the 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 last episode i saw you know riz's brother divine was uh just released um and you know he's having a hard time getting you know readjusted to the street life so you know he's trying to figure out should i go back should I, you know, try to do the right thing, all that good stuff. So, but uh, you were you were an episode ahead of me, so um, I know you 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 know probably got some good yeah some man, good tea man. about that. But yeah, we, we ain't gonna get y'all too much. Yeah, they can't drink on it though. Um, I, one thing I will say, uh, Shy starts rhyming finally. I'll just okay. Get, I'll just start that's that what I've been waiting on because I yeah. thought it was gonna happen in my episode. Yeah, it's, it's, when he walked through the hall, they was rhyming, rhyming uh, method. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think he just he just broke and just got tired of like, you know what? This dude up there thinking he's nice. Nah, fuck it. Right. <laughs> we so, talking about Shalon Raekwon, if y'all yeah. don't know. Um, but yeah, man. Oh, real quick, let me mention this. You um, you were saying that the dude that's playing RZA. Um, yeah, that is not Joey Badass. That's, not that's, Joey that's, Badass. I, that's my fault. Yeah. That is my fault. Joey Badass is playing Rebel Inspector Ryan Badass. S. Yeah, yeah Inspector yeah, yeah, Inspector. I, yeah. I was uh I found that out too the other day and I was like, oh, so that's not even Joey. Okay, because I don't know him as much by face. I just heard some of his music, so um but yeah, I, I saw that and I just wanted to bring that up real quick. So mm-hmm. but yeah, he's playing Inspector Deck, Joey Badass. And has he come in yet? And um, Yeah, he's actually in yeah, he's actually the Actually, wasn't he in the first episode? I think he was a little bit. He because he, I don't remember seeing Well, him. see, Method, you know, Dave, Dave East character, he mentioned like, yeah, you know, Rebel staying with me, you know, blah, 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 blah you know. And, um, you know, they was, you know, they was hanging out there and stuff. Okay. Like, I think a little bit in the fifth Yeah, in the I heard him say episode. something about Rebel and I, but I, I, um, 
I guess they haven't really showed him that much. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, he's definitely in the sixth episode, so you can actually get to see them. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. far, they've shown, like, up to the fifth episode, you get to see Old Dirty, you get to see Genius. RZA, you, RZA's pretty much in every episode. He's kind of the central character. Mm. Uh, Ghostface, Raekwon, and Method Man. So now we're starting to get into, like you said, Inspector Deck. And, uh, you know, of course, you got RZA's brother, um, Divine. So uh, I, from, I have to admit, from the Mikes and Men um, documentary that Showtime did, I didn't realize Divine was the way he is, you know, like from what they're showing him now. You know, he, in, in this day and age, he seems a little more quiet and just, you know, humble. Like, no, nah, I don't get down like that. But you know he was he was like the big dude on the on the block you know with them you know what I mean so y'all might want to check that out. But yeah, so yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the thing everybody else is talking about. Okay. The Kashi Snitch Line. <laughs> oh wait 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 real quick before we talk about that I gotta tell y'all this. They're doing a Netflix series about the life of Madam C.J. Walker. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I might want to check that out, man, because, you know, she was the first, the first self-made millionaire female. Not even just a black woman. Female, period. Self-made millionaire and then self-made black woman millionaire comes second. So she was Oprah before Oprah. Before Oprah. She was Oprah before Oprah. Yes, sir. That is a man. She, she, uh, she developed a line of cosmetics and hair products uh, specifically designed for African American people. So, shout out to Madam C.J. Walker. Um, Octavia Spencer will be playing her, and Tiffany Haddish, I believe, will be playing her daughter. And I think um, Blair Underwood is in that too. I'm not okay. sure what his role is, but he's in that. But yeah, so look out for that. Now, now, the cautious snitch nine. <laughs> Yo, what we man, listen, man, this is the memes have just been Yo. killing this dude, man. Yo, the, the the internet has been savage on this dude, man. Tell us what y'all think about the whole Takashi thing, man. I think that's a good thing. Shit, he deserves all that shit. Yeah, you know what's funny, man? If you listen to the audio, which I'm sure a lot of y'all have, they ask him. So when did you start cooperating with the police? And because uh, he said he got arrested, I think it was November 18th or something like that. And they were like, okay, so when did you start cooperating with the police? He said the next day, the 19th. Dang. I was like, damn, nigga, you didn't waste no time. Hey, you know what? I ain't built for this, bro. Go ahead, man. Put the mic on. I'll, I'll tell you what you want. <laughs> man, that would trip me up, man. My thing of it is, it's just, I think out of this, everybody needs to kind of know. If you live that life, you got to be careful who you bring in. I think that's a lot of things you have to look. I mean, I, I look at this as far as like the hip hop culture, yeah, like their perspective. I think we got to a point that we just kind of accept everybody. Right. And, you know, the way my man was moving, you know, he got in all this trouble and all that. And now it's like, you know what I'm saying? All the, he's going to stitch on all his people or so-called people. I mean, I get, I hear the whole thing like, you know, yeah, you know, he, they kidnapped him. They did, you know, they, they did things to his girl and stuff. Yeah. But, I mean, that's, it's like, dude, it's like, not that you sign up for those things, but like, if you a gangster, you know what I'm saying? Or you sign up for that, man, that's a lot of energy that you signed up for. Right. You know what I'm saying? And. It's, it's just, funny. It's, it's funny to me. I don't mean to cut you off, but I yeah. remember when he first came out. I remember the first time I looked at him. I was like, he don't even look like he built for this life. The stuff that he talking about, because he was rapping like you know, he was straight out streets, and he was all about that life. And I just kept thinking, he don't look like he built for that. You know what I mean? He just looked like you know he, he playing a role. So mm -hmm. and now it's like it's coming out that bit pretty much all he was was like a cash cow for the for them. You know, you pay us, we'll be your protection. You do whatever you want. You know what I mean? You can roll with us as long as you're keeping us, you know, laced with the with the with the guap. Yeah, so see, I don't know, man. See, 
Well, oh, like like I said, man, like you, you know what I'm saying? It's just you have to be careful who you move with and who, and you know, who's moving around. I mean, that's the way I look at that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just not worth, right? You know, it's just not worth it to me. And again, like I said, it's just being your, your circle and who you let in is, uh, you know, that's really a thing that you have to watch about, you know, now this mud done tell on everybody from Cardi B, Jim Jones, Pam, Shoddy, everybody. Everybody, man. Hey, um, you stole a dime from your mama, you snitched. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's telling everything. And I mean, you could tell that this was probably rehearsed beforehand. You know, they probably signed a big agreement with him. Like, okay, when you get up on the stand, we got to ask you about this person, this person, this person. And you got to give us everything you know about that person just like you're giving it to us now so you can tell he was already prepared that they were going to ask him that so the other thing this is what I'm thinking too I mean I, I don't want to be that guy but shit he might have been just a, he might have been a government dude you never know yeah there's some that's rumors circulating about that so I mean if really, if you if think about it, it I mean him moving the way he moving and really trying to like take a hunt down a whole organization, and that's you know that might have been something that they've been trying to do for years, but they couldn't get nothing on them. So I was like, yeah, we'll just do this. We'll, we'll we'll make this guy, and then what we'll do is like, yeah, we'll just make this guy, and then we'll just thing on um, you know, what I'm saying, get him to right, get these guys off the street. Yeah, yeah, man, shoot. Cause I, I mean, that's you know, you got the hip hop police and right. all that other stuff, man. Yeah, man. You know, they got that task force, you know, and, you know, they was wiretapping Jim Jones and, you know, he probably didn't even know until that audio came out of him, you know, talking about Takashi, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, uh, it's, it's crazy, man. I mean, now, as far as Cardi B goes, I will say this. At first, they were saying that Takashi said that she was a part of another blood gang that she wasn't really affiliated with, and that's not really the truth. Mm -hmm. What happened was he just uh, said that she was a blood member. He didn't say which specific set. So, because um, when it first dropped, she, um, I think, went on social media and was like, nah, nah, I'm not with the, um, what's the names? I'm with this one over here. So, but when the audio came out, you realize he didn't really say specifically. He just... They just said, is she a, like a blood, with the blood gang? And, she, and you know, he was just like, yeah. So yeah. He, he never specified which set she was with. You know Even I mean? if she was, one thing I can say about her, at least right now, she definitely moving a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? He, and even with Jim Jones, they moving a little bit. They're not wilding out. You know, right. I mean, not, you know, I mean, yeah, they wild out, but they ain't wilding out to the point of like, they're getting in trouble every week right. or they trying you know what I'm saying like disputes are happening nah they trying to chill and make their money right. I mean even if and that's the thing real gangsters that's what they trying to do right. I can I can remember when I was in Job Corps man I, I was around some real gangsters yeah. like motherfuckers that really get in it motherfuckers that wouldn't really speak to their cousins cause like they cousin mm -hmm. like one cousin was blood and the other one was crib and they ain't spoken to niggas in years right. but when they got the job court they put all that shit aside cause like look I'm trying to make them something better right. and I'm trying to get a trade the mothers that come in the job court wasn't in no gang shit what they would do they would come in and act like they were gangsters Right. And I remember one time they had like there was a whole crew of them, whole crew of them, and they was like, "Oh, we run this, we run this whole shit, we bad and all that stuff." Yeah. And let me tell you something: the real gangsters, I'm talking about the motherfuckers at Job Corps that, mm -hmm. um, that mm -hmm. run the staff and all that shit. Mm -hmm. And said, let me tell you something: we're gonna get y'all out of here. A certain group, they ain't say no name, but everybody knew who they were talking about. Right. So, hey, we're gonna let you know. Y'all gonna be, y'all keep playing around. Y'all gonna be out of here. Yeah, man. Shit, not even a week later, all the motherfuckers was gone. Maybe about two other people, maybe like two people out of that, you know, stayed. And I think eventually they got, you know, they got, you know, the, the you know, term. That's what we called it. Term, terminated. Like, you get term. Right. You get term. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So. Yeah, man. It's just like real. You, you'll know who's real and who's not. 
like by their actions and you know what they you know what they're doing and what they're trying to focus on. So. Absolutely. So yeah, man. It's like I said. You know, let us know what y'all think about this whole court situation and you know snitching. I will say this: Cardi B, she did a video where she was talking about snitching and the whole Takashi thing, and she was saying that basically people who are accepting of the street life, those are the ones who they don't want to hear snitching. If you're just an average, every everyday, ordinary citizen, you know you're gonna have to do what you gotta do. You know, but she was like, those of us who have accepted the street life, there's a code that you don't snitch. So that's that's why a lot of people are mad at Takashi. Oh, so, of course. You know, those average everyday citizens, you know, they're not. They know y'all are probably gonna give it up. You know what I mean? But when you accept that code, then I'm I'm down with the gang. I'm down with the street life. I'm down with this and that. You signing up, bro? And you can't just go out right after that and just say, oh, I'm giving up everybody. I mean, because he gave up everything. So good. Everything. Man, so, man like, if he ever get more than print protection, man. boy, he going to have to change his whole shit up. They, they say, that's another thing. See, him being Mexican, that's another thing. They mad about that shit. Because yeah. Mexicans, man, they really try. They really moving silent, really. A lot of them, yeah. they don't want none of that shit. So when they kind of messed it up for them, too. So, mm-hmm. yeah, when they see that, mug, shit, they might cut his ass. Yeah, man. Um, Brittany was talking about, um, she said she feels like he'll still get out and make music and people will still buy it. So what do you think? Because I don't know, man. I mean, I can see some people. Well, uh, well, in this day, I hate to say it, this day and age, yeah, they probably will. Yeah. They probably will. And that was back in the 90s. Fuck no. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean nah. you, you just had a certain... Code of you know it's 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 almost like the street code you know what I mean it's a certain code when it came to to stuff like that that yeah, you know just, you don't respect nobody for doing certain things but nowadays if you got a good song you know it could have just been like oh yeah remember last week he raped the guy they'd be like oh man but yeah but the song though come yeah. on now I can still I'm get getting it. lit off the sun I'm getting lit off the sun come on now yeah I mean that's really all it takes now. But yeah, I mean, it really, if it does, if they do take off with this man, like none of y'all, none of y'all can't holler and say, "Oh, I'm fucking gangster," because you're not. Right. I'm sorry. Right. It's like you can't come up here and support this man for snitching, and you know, what I'm saying, and, and then come around and be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna buy his music." Right. Like, come on, man. Yeah, man. Like, I can't. That's how the internet do. They go hard on you one minute, next minute they all on your jock. So. It's like, what, what is it? What's, it? what's it going to be? You know what yeah. I mean? So, I don't know, man. I mean, it's, it's it's crazy, man. But it's if y'all ain't heard some of it, y'all need to go find them audios. They're all over the place, man. Damn. And you can hear the whole testimony. You know what I mean? It's all over YouTube. You know, you look up Takashi testimony, and you'll find it. <laughs> but, um, you know, you got to judge for yourself, man. But, I mean, it is kind of... When they said that he... Agreed the day after. That's when I knew that was crazy. I'm like, yeah. you ain't been in there 24 hours and you already copping a plea. 24 hours, Takashi, come on, man. I mean, you didn't even say, oh yeah, it took him a few months to wear me down or yeah. something. You know what I mean? Yeah, they'll beat me enough. Right. Yeah, I'm a, that first bad cop probably put on like some gloves. Like, you know what? Mm. I like about this. Uh, it doesn't leave any <laughs> fingerprints. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell you something right now. <laughs> <laughs> he got in there around the wolves in the jail or yeah. the prison, and he was like, oh yeah. I am not doing He turned into Carlton from the Fresh Prince in that jail. I'm scared. Oh, <laughs> like, <"Jazz and> <laughs> but yo, man, oh, so man. he gave up the goods fast, son. But um, but yeah, man. Like I said, let us know what y'all think about that, because that's that's crazy right there, man. I don't even know what to think about dude, man. I'm I'm kinda anxious to see her because you know, it's it's real touch and go. You know, I want to see if people gonna keep supporting, or if people gonna really just say I'm done with this dude. You know what I mean? Because he did break that code, that street code, that you don't do that. You know what I mean? I'm not even like a gangster or any shit like that myself, but I still wouldn't do it. 
I just, I don't, that's not what I do, man. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not going to happen. Yeah. So, a lot of, but but for, one thing, I, for one thing, I ain't going to put myself in that position. Exactly. exactly. I'm sure that's probably what you was about to exactly. say. Exactly. Not even going to make that That's, that's, that's the thing. I mean, a lot of the, a lot of the ones that, that's like they're gangsters and they hard, you know, and they yelling loud and stuff. Them the ones that ain't. Right. These motherfuckers are really quiet. The silent ones, boy. And the gangsters. The silent ones, boy. They real quiet. You know, you they do know. something like, yeah, 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 I'll do this. Blah, 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 blah. And, 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 my, and, my, and, my, and my man, like, my man, like, Right. Leave him alone. They say you know he's strong arming you and putting you down. Yeah. Mess around laying you out. Mess around in the dumps with a Cuban necktie. Right. <laughs> so yeah, man. But um, you know, that's that's crazy, man, how that how that happens, man. Um hold on one second. Well yeah. So okay. yeah, kids, stay in school. Don't be that guy. And um, just really, man, just, I mean, just really, one thing I can say about this, this is definitely a learning experience. Yeah. This should be a learning tool, like what not to do and how not to act. I agree. You know? I agree. I mean, you got to learn from stuff like this, man. Don't just laugh at it all day. Actually learn something from it because... Like you said, you know, I'm not condoning gang lifestyle or anything. But if you're gonna to agree to it, be all the way in it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Don't 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 get out there and look foolish, man. Cause you know, that's just gonna make it bad for you now. The whole city, all the all the wolves in the city gonna be all over you. You know what I mean? They hungry and they ready to get at somebody who who broke the code. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, you know. And he's he's lightweight too, you know what I mean? He ain't even like a big dude. So, what are you going to do? So, you might as well have just stayed in prison, bro. Like, and nah, uh, I'm just going to stay in here. <laughs> Dang, uh, do you like my bad on financial security? How long has it been? Think what? Hit the cop. <laughs> Shut that door, man. Right? It's <laughs> solitary confinement. Right. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Crazy, man. Oh, man. But, yeah, man. So, I, there's not really much more I can say about that, man. It's It's crazy. It's just a lot going on, but y'all got to go out there and listen to it for yourselves uh, so you can hear what we're talking about. If, I'm sure most of y'all have, but I'm sure it's a couple of y'all who haven't. But uh, it's interesting to hear everything going on up there, man. You know what I mean? But what was funny to me is when he was talking about Jim Jones, he actually kind of, you know, almost like tried to diss him while he was on the stand. Did you catch that part? Damn, I didn't. See, actually, I, I only shared one of the tapes and I listened to it. Mm-hmm. I think when, like, I think Vlad had something. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, but I ain't, I ain't really. Hell, I'll be honest with you. I was more paying attention to the damn, uh, damn paying attention to the damn memes more than anything. Man, the memes been going <laughs> hard, but he basically, when they asked him, they was like, do you know who Jim Jones is? And he called him a retired old rapper. He was like, yeah, yeah, he's just an old, retired rapper. Jim Jones ain't retired nowhere, and, I mean, he still do music every now and then. He just don't do it that often now. I mean, he ain't never been one of my favorites. I mean, he ain't got no bars or nothing like that. But, you know what I mean? I'm, my, my thing is, he part of the same blood gang as you. What did you dissing this dude for? Yeah. Why would you even take a shot at him like that? I mean, he an old, retired rapper. I'm like, y'all just... I mean, he he really asking for it. So anyway, man, that's all I got about that, man. What you you got anything else you want to throw in there? Damn it, my button. <laughs> <laughs> the the buttons just don't want to work for us right, sometimes. I'm, I'm telling you, man. Because uh, but we, but we I think Life we all know. Not the Kashi. Not the Kashi. That sounds like more like what's going to happen to him. <laughs> I mean, as soon as he stepped out the courtroom door, oh, I'm a free man. Oh, oh, what happened? Oh, I just got shot in my side. Ooh, oh. Yeah, you're going to me. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. But anyway, man, we shall see, man. Uh, like I said, let us know what y'all think. Put it in the comments. We want to hear from y'all. That's what we really like. We need some interaction. So let us hear from y'all. Um, let us know what y'all think about the whole deal. This will be posted to YouTube very shortly. So I yep. appreciate y'all 
Instagram, we'll throw some clips up there for y'all too. Because yep. uh, uh, sometimes y'all don't go back and look at the lives. But um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for episode 91. 91. Try and Hip Hop Podcast. This your boy, Kirk Kirk. And I'm Howie. And we're going to see y'all on the next oh. go round. Hey.